welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is simi i'm a fashion blogger and i run a blog called simifabgirl.com so on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my different tips that you can apply to make you look instantly stylish if you'd like to know more about the tips please kindly keep on watching looking stylish all boils down to little things how you style your outfit how you wear your outfit little things that you can do to make your outfit if you're someone that likes to dress basically on a daily basis and you're just looking for things little things that you can just do to take your outfit from zero to a hundred all right then this video is for you so please kindly keep on watching before i move on to what the video is about please kindly click the notification bell and please kindly subscribe to my channel please i am begging you kindly subscribe to my channel take a look at the numbers of subscribers i have can you see my numbers are still extremely low all right so please kindly take a second if it's asking for your password please just enter your password enter your username um, subscribe please okay don't just watch like subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can Get notification when i upload new videos and you can be aware of you know because i have so many good nice contents coming up okay i do not want to spend so much time talking about this please just kindly do that for me pause this video do that then get back on the video let's get like going. i said these tips are going to you know make your basic outfits look a little a little bit more um you know elevated less basic and they're just little things okay and i have like 12 of them i'm going to share with you quickly okay so all right so i would also like to you. you know state this that all these tips are basic things that i do on a daily basis these are things that i've tried these are my personal opinion and i think that if you also try it you would also you know really really re realize that these th little things make or break your outfit okay so please if you have any suggestions for me as well, can you put it in the notification box? I I will. Uh, sorry, did I say notification box? Please, can you put it in the comment section? I will definitely be checking out. And if you're using any of these tips, you know, let me know. Hashtag Simbifab Inspo. I have a particular um, hashtag on my Instagram that I use. Um, just I'm, I'm going to put it on the screen. It's Simbifab inspo okay so do a hashtag i'm going to check and i'm going to be reposting all right and you have not already followed me on instagram please can you do that at save fab girl it's going to be on the screen okay without further ado let's get it rolling all right so my first tip is no nothing other than a scrunched sleeve guys guys having a scrunched sleeve takes your outfit to zero to hundred from zero to hundred like really especially your blazers okay i'm going to show you how i do that a lot of people you know complain that when they try to this is what i mean by scrunched sleeve like having your sleeve going a bit up all right a lot of people complain about i'm going to give you my little tutorial now on how you can keep it permanent the whole day so guys as you can see my blazer the way it looks Alright, so I'm trying to scrunch the sleeve and I can see that it keeps falling off. So what I'm going to do, what you want to do is to get a hairband or a band, any band. Alright, put it around your um, sleeve and then pull it up as you can see. Okay, to ensure that it's um, tight so that you can secure the sleeve for you. And yeah, that's all. So when you, when you try to, um, when you do that, you realize that it doesn't fall off, it doesn't come down, it stays permanently. And you can see the difference with the other sleeve. You can see how um, instantly it makes um, my outfit, you know, pop and different. It makes it different and you can see the difference. So that's the tip and that's the easy way to do it. It's something that is so easy, something that is so simple, but changes makes a whole lot of difference. You, me, oh, you, me. you know, your sleeves just does a whole lot to your outfit. Like really, crunch sleeve, cuffed sleeve. If you follow me on my Instagram, you know that this is one tip I use almost on a daily basis. Like, what am I, what am I doing with a sleeve that is not cuffed, especially when I'm wearing a t-shirt? Ah, hey. <laughs> I've 
cuffing your sleeve i'm going to show you the difference between the two it just especially when you have a t-shirt and it's you know reaching here just try to roll it up like two two times okay all right so this is just a quick look at a before and after of a cuffed sleeve and it just changes the whole thing like makes you look your your it makes your arms look longer just automatically elevates your look instantly like you're wearing a shirt and a jeans and you want to your dress just go and roll just roll that sleeve up once or twice see the difference then come back and tell me come back and tell me the difference so um cuff sleeve is highly important it's very no joke it's very important it just same way you're applying it to your shirt apply it to your pants your trouser your jeans cough it up cough it up once or twice if someone like me that i have a bow leg when i do it it just makes my leg you know it, it has a whole lot of difference as you can it makes your leg look longer it elevates your look you look more chic it make, make you look more sharp it's not only for your jeans if you have a pants it and it makes the it brings out the beauty of your shoes you guys the beauty of your shoes automatically comes out like if you're wearing, especially if you want the attention to be on your shoe or your legs, just do a cup. These are things I do every day. It doesn't, it does, it just makes or break your outfit. Okay, so I think people will start, you know, you can start getting compliments left, right, center. Like, uh -huh. you look nice, yes, you look nice. I'm telling you, you realize that these are little things you don't do, but when you do them, boom, you're a stylist. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> So the next tip is nothing other than tucking in your shirt. <laughs> tucking in your shirt. You don't necessarily have to do the overall tucking. Like you don't have to tuck in your shirt all through. Just do the front tuck or the one side tuck. You know, I'm going to show you how I tuck in my shirt. Especially if you're wearing a long shirt like the one I'm having now, like the one I'm wearing. All right, so if you're talking in your shirt, even if it's not as long as this, you don't want to button it all the way down. Try to take it in one after the other so it doesn't bulge in the front. So this is the one side tuck. If you're going to be taking in the other side, you do that also for the other side. And um, that will ensure it's laying flat in the front. And then you try to adjust it. And yeah, that's it. You look more put, well, like well put together. Like I light you up overall frame make you look slimmer okay if you're a slim person it will make you you know you look more highlighted you look smart and sharp cute seriously as you can see seriously seriously talk in that shirt especially with the front top just do that automatically instantly as we can see 90s fashion is coming back we are seeing different trends from denim trends, from the dungarees trends, everything bandana trends. They are all coming back in 2000, in, in this year. Okay, they are all coming back. All this 90s fashion, same. So this trend is like, it's not everybody that loves it. It's not everybody that can pull it off. But if you can, it absolutely makes a lot of difference. Make you automatically stylish, stands you out in the crowd. If you do it well, okay? That is the layered camisole. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram again, you know this is one thing I do all the time. I'm here also. Please follow me on my Instagram. Okay, all right. So, if you're able to pull that off, layered camisole. I mean, our advice that if you're doing that, one of the um, colors should be like a neutral color, like black, nude, white, grays, and the other one can pop right or both of them can even be different shades of neutrals but do not go for too many like two double pattern the inner one and the outside one is pattern then you look like more like a crazy person like sorry it looks i don't want to use that word it just looks i'm not saying you can't pull that off but it's, it's much more easier to pull off when you're wearing one neutral neutral um outfit and you're layering it with the colored one or a colored one layering with a neutral one if you're doing that it's easy automatically takes your outfit you look more stylish less boring less basic two basic outfits putting them together 
elevating your look with it, right? A camisole is basic, a t-shirt is basic, a white shirt is basic. Layer them together, elevate the look. Eh? Serious. This is a button-up shirt and I have a knot that I tied here, okay? As you can see, it is a trend. Like, it, this is a shirt that I can probably probably wear to work, but I just, you know, made it a casual one. So instead of buttoning it all the way down, I can even decide to button it all the way down. It's not bad, but I still tied it up. Makes, makes it look less formal, like really. Okay. When you're tying it, you're t bringing the left over to the right, and then you tie the knot. Then it closes any gap in between your shirt. Even if your shirt is not extremely long, even if it's just um, long to your hip side, side then you can still you know use this trend tie the knot it changes your look it's a little things it's a shirt a button down shirt but i've made it you know look more elevated more stylish by you know just tying a knot around my jeans as you can see as you can see okay so this is a proof that this is what i do all the time i'm not just telling you guys anything i'm telling you things that i always do like really so remember that is another tip try to do that you will see so those don't those shirts that you wear to work a lot of us just end up having work clothes separately work clothes can also be casual clothes all your shirt all your tm shirt all your reserve for office kill it ah please wear it on a saturday Button it down, tie a knot, and wear your jeans or your leggings on it. You're off to go. Stop keeping some separate clothes and then you end up not wearing them for so long. I am wasting money. You have these things in your wardrobe, bring them out. Yeah, this is for work. It is not for work. You can restyle it for all things, okay? All right, guys, this next tip is not a tip that is not something that you can only wear on a you know, basic day or you're on a casual day you can also try this tip to work if you, like again if you watch my video of how to style a white shirt please i'm going to link the video down below kindly watch it all right kindly watch it you will see that i use this tip in one of the first style i created okay i'm also going to pop some pictures for you to see it's something that i use all the time it's one of the best tips ever like it takes your elevates your look Either you're wearing a long sleeve shirt under a dress, a dress under it. it's like an old vibe that is bringing, like I said, 90s vibes are coming back and everybody's embracing it. And you know, you should also, you should, because these are little stylish things that you can do to take your outfit from drag to fab. All right, so that's all right. So the first tip i'm going to give when it comes to accessorizing is to use a neckerchief or a scarf okay this tip is not one thing that i use all the time i only have to use it when i'm like out of options and all that but you can always use it okay using a neckerchief just to accessorize your neck in a, in a case where you do not want to wear um, a necklace you can just tie it over your neck all right it changes the it makes a whole lot of difference you know it's just i'm sure we all have one you know bandana at home that we just use when we are going to the gym so, you know we, so all those things you can actually use them to accessorize tie them on your neck tie them under your shirt you know just for look make you look less basic all right so this next one is also similar to the first one i talked about which is um using a scarf, a scarf. A day where you are having a bad a day, you do not want to, you know, or you're done. You spend so much time on your makeup, so much time on your on your on dressing up, and then you have just three minutes to go. You can't straighten your hair or something. Just put a scarf over it or tie it at the tip of your hair. Like if you're wearing a natural fro or you have a natural hair, you can, you can just tie it around your hair bone and. It elevates your look so do not do not uh, it's all you can also use a neckerchief to do that you can use a small scarf to do so i'm going to, I'm going to implore you to embrace all those things because these are things that will automatically elevate your look automatically instantly will make you look stylish like really i'm serious girl build it up please sometimes 
we we just the only thing that is missing in our outfits is just the belt. If you know me again, you know that I do not joke with my belt. I recently just got one that I'm so obsessed with. I got it from Zara, and it was even on sale. So you need to see the kind of speech before they change their mind that the sale has ended. Like seriously, get a belt, black one that has. You know, you can also get a brown. Those are two colors that I would, I would recommend. Okay, always use it to cinch your waist. If you're wearing a dress that is looking like not, you know, fitted or something, you can always cinch your waist in just to change. It just gives you a little layering your necklaces gives the best type of elevation that your outfit needs. Like really. Have you heard the word sophisticated? That's what it takes. It makes you look sophisticated. It makes you look like I'm so stylish. I'm not even trying. You know that kind of vibe. Like I don't have to try. My neck, you know, says everything. All okay. So layer necklaces so important. So important. And you don't you don't have to spend so much on that. If you cannot afford, you know expensive accessories go to stores like h&m go to stores like Bershka, go to stores like zara they always have you know a readily um, organized layered necklace you can just buy one piece some of them comes like a four in one piece just buy one wear them but you have to be careful with them make sure you clean them make sure you because if not they may have to you know which colors may change use hats use them all the time okay they are different that one thing about using hats is that it's, it's not all types of hats that would fit everybody you need to know which one works best for you most of the time face caps baseball caps you know they, they suit just about anybody all right so get the one that fits you that suits you sometimes use it on your bad air day sometimes just use it to elevate your look the bowler hats there are so many so here's an example of me quickly adding a vibe to my look using this hat. So just find out the one that you know works for you and use it. Use it. Not, maybe, maybe not every day, but once in a while, just use it. Okay. All right. So that will be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. So please, can you consider subscribing now? Abba. Subscribe, click notification bell, okay? All right, so I hope you enjoyed watching, like I said, and I hope because I really enjoyed making this particular video, okay? So please, can you subscribe to your girl, support your girl, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at girl When you use any of these tips, let me know. If you have more tips, put it down in the comment section for me. I can also learn from you, all right? So please join the family, subscribe. Ah. Alright, okay, so I'll see you in my next video.